was really uh, this was a guts victory. <laughs> I, I don't know if that would cover it. I don't know if that would cover it. You know, I look up and, uh, you know, we've got a pretty good lead on them and, and we still got a, a quarter and a third to play in the first half, you know, and they're just, you know, they play such up-tempo and uh, and I knew I knew it was going to be a challenge from, for us because as I've told you many times, we are uh, playing more two-way players than we have in a long, long time. and. Wow, they, uh, you know, they just kept coming at us and coming at us. And to the Crawford Pirates' credit, though, they just kept hanging in there and hanging in there. And you know, it's, it, it, I can't say enough about, you know, there's many opportunities for them. You know, it would have been real easy to say, "Well, this, this is too hard to do." Well, you know, we've done enough. But they, they you know, did a good job of sticking in there. And uh, you know, like I said, I don't think we were mistake free, but. Uh, certainly st stayed with it and, and uh, you know, it's one thing about the Crawford Pirates, you never count them out. You know, at the end of the third quarter, it looked like they were wearing us out. It looked like, and then yeah, they, they were just, to some degree. and they just, uh, the, the Pirates came back and just drove. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a deal where, you know, you get to a point, there's many times in games like this when you get to a specific point and uh, each individual and the team has got to make a decision. Are we going we gonna to make a stand and hang in there and keep fighting? And, uh, and they did, you know, so uh, as long as we'll do that, I, you, know, I, I, you know, I feel good about this team. Uh, you know, again, I'm not saying we were mistake free, but uh, that's a hard-fought victory. I just that's all you can say about it. Is you know I, I give a lot of credit. You know my hats go off to Toler. They they played hard. They played extremely hard. I've got a lot of respect for them, Coach. Coach Franklin does a good job. Their old kids, you know, they fought tooth and tail. Toenail. It'd been real easy for them when we went up. What was it, 21-7 at one time? Mm -hmm. Was it even 21 nothing at one time? I don't. I can't remember. Games a blur. But anyway, they, you know, they had some opportunities. They could have. Uh, you know they could have they could have checked it in too. So uh, it's a is a, a really a, a testament of what I think high school football should be. Two 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 really really good clean cut programs just going tooth and toenail and playing playing 48 minutes plus. Uh, it's a little bit unusual for the way you know because Tolar runs a spread and they run a, a tempo and but they also tend to they try to it. they try to mash you yeah they you know they got to that point i think they and they did to some degree you know they had us worn down a little bit and you know they were just hammering it up in there so uh uh wow you know but we hung it we we we, we made we made some plays when we need to and that's you know that's always the key to uh being able to be successful at times you know uh, is being able to hang in there and make some plays uh, can you say what you thought when Braden broke through and made that run? <laughs> well, I came over and told Coach, Coach uh, uh, Bruce was standing there and said, I'm not going to watch it. You're just going to have to tell me whether it's good or not. But uh, I did turn around and watch it. But, you know, well, that's a big plus. You know, Nate, you know, he's got can't, – he can't – play but he wanted to be a part of the team and he's really really come out there and worked hard on his kicking and boy I think that's going to be a big plus for us he did a great job of kickoff made all his PATs and, and you know did a good job punting so that's going to be a big plus for us and that's what was that eight touchdowns each ten, was each team eight touchdowns I don't even remember what it was score, it was seven, 42, touchdowns. What was it, seven touchdowns for each team right and the whole thing came down to one missed extra point you know, I tell you all the time, on a you know, kicking game, you cannot ignore the kicking game. You know, cannot ignore the kicking game. I told them when we went out there, you know, right before they scored, I said, if they score, we must get a block. And well, we didn't get a block, but I think we got enough distraction it made him hook it. So, uh, you know, that's always big. Sorry, huge. Now, now, you know, one other thing that I think kind of helped you was that. Um, the kickoff, they were having to kind of go shallow and across to keep you from getting a return, and you were able to get a little depth on yours. Right, you know, Nate did a good job. I mean, he got great hang time and kicking it down there right where we want to get it to. So, uh, 
that's going to be a, that, that, can, that can be a very big whip, weapon for us if, if we if we can cover. You know, we had a little breakdown in a couple coverages, but for the most part, our kick coverage was good, and, and uh, um, I think that's going to help us down the road. Uh, it's amazing how much difference, how much less tired you are when you win. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, the recovery time's a whole lot better. I, but they, I promise you, there's some old boys in the white jerseys that are going to be plenty tired in the morning. I promise you. So. Okay. Well, they, you got the 24-hour rule, so you get to enjoy right. this one. Right. Then, what do you get Back ready for next week? Well, Heiko, you know they're a, they're a uh, multi. Faceted, you know, they'll get in the wing tee, but they'll get in the spread. They played all the way to the state semifinals last year. They're a very talented football team. Uh, you know, uh, Coach Wood's been there a long time. They've got a good program. They're sound. They're fundamental. They play hard. Uh, they're well, fast. Yeah, they've, they and they they're really fast. Probably more than normal. They've got probably more speed than they had ever. So you know, they they bring a lot of weapons and. You know, It'll be a challenge again. Okay. Congratulations. And well, thing next, to go out there, I want to say, you know, we're going to recognize, the, you know, next week with it being the first home game, it's the 20-year anniversary of the 94 semifinal, this team, and the 10-year anniversary of the 2004 uh, state championship team, and we're going to we're going to recognize those at halftime. So we'd like for as many of them to be able to be there. It's going to be a special night. Okay. Hey, you know what? I wasn't around in 94, but... I found the old photos from 04, yeah, so I'm going right. to post those on the website right. and we'll have them up. Okay. And so anybody from 1994 or 2004, 2004. please come and right. be honored at the game. Right, right. Thanks. Appreciate it.